Happy Friday, Jets fans. Have a report here on the availability of one Derek Carr coming from Adam Schefter. If you appreciate it, a thumbs up is an easy way to show it. So, boom, here's Shefty. Raiders have already granted quarterback Derek Carr permission to speak with other teams interested in trading for him that have also agreed to compensation with the Las Vegas Raiders. Per sources, it's the same arrangement the Texans had with quarterback Deshaun Watson last offseason. The way I'm reading that, it sounds like they kind of maybe have had some teams that have reached out and agreed to compensation. Now Derek Carr just gets to pick the team. That's kind of where it's at with me. Now, the question that keeps circling in my mind, why wouldn't Derek Carr just flip the Raiders the bird, veto every trade, use his no trade clause, and say, you have to release me? Um, he would definitely get same value on his contract on the open market, maybe more guaranteed money. And his new team, like instead of trading a second round pick for him, release me, I'll go sign with that team, and they can go get that second round pick and take a receiver or a tackle to help me out. Maybe. Uh, that's what's right away, that's what's sticking out to me. But you have different league sources, say he's going to be cut, he's going to be traded. And here's where it really boils down to. And this one, I wanted to pose a specific question. We talked a lot about Derek Carr, Aaron Rodgers. In an ideal world, who's our preferred option based on age and draft capital and all that. But let me ask you this. I think most of the Jets I'm talking, I'm talking to Aaron Rodgers is option number one. He's option number one for me as well. But here's where it gets interesting. If this trade has already been, you know, kind of agreed to and Derek Carr picks his team and in about two weeks, he's going to be traded like if that's the scenario and that's how you feel if you're the Jets and Derek Carr is willing to come to the Jets and the Raiders have agreed on you know a draft return that the drafts would be comfortable giving up would you take Derek Carr boom move on he's your quarterback you're done and you just move forward you have Derek Carr or would you wait and see what Aaron Rodgers is up to and try and get a tr deal done with him. Like if you have no idea what Aaron Rodgers is up to still and Derek Carr, you know, is going to be on the market for only a few days. What do you do? A, do you just take Derek Carr and you just move on? Or B, do you risk missing out on Derek Carr and just going in for Rodgers? I think Rodgers might be worth it, but I, I don't know. I don't know the answer to that question because I think Rodgers is definitely – Plan A, big gap, car, plan B, big gap, all other plan C's. It's a really interesting question. Uh, excited to see where Jets fans lean on this one with the uh, the whole timeline thing. Hey, let's talk about Derek Carr. There's a lie about Derek Carr. Let's address that down below. Subscribe if you are new, and we'll talk Jets football soon.